What's up, my friends? It's time for a little adventure. So, it is October 5th, and you know what that means? Beautiful trees everywhere. And the best way to see beautiful trees is on a bike. I've been eyeing this loop for a while on bikepacking.com, the Boulder Weekend Loop, and it is time. 77 miles, I'm gonna do it in two days, 10,000 feet of ascent, which is pretty beefy, and I'm just really excited to be exploring my backyard. And look at these people. They're sitting on that rock having a great time. I wanna go do that. And there she is, all dressed up and ready to go on an adventure. My 600X, this is the bicycle that I designed with my friends at Priority Bicycles. As always, we've got the pinion gearbox with a 600% gear ratio. All of the gears are safely protected inside of there so the elements don't mess with them. Gates carbon drive, so smooth, never needs to be lubed, lasts three times longer than a chain. This back here is a new piece. This is an aero rack. I'm liking it, it feels very sturdy. And in the middle of the bike here, I have a new frame bag made by Green Guru, my buddies here in Boulder. Green Guru makes all of their stuff out of upcycled material, so it's super eco-friendly. This tent here is newish. It's the Nemo Dragonfly. I used it on Ragbri, and I really like it. So the great thing about overnighters is that you don't need to bring nearly as much stuff as you would on a long bikepacking adventure. I barely have any food other than some energy bars. I'll be able to stock up at some stores along the way. I do have some warm clothes because it is going to be cold tonight, but other than that, I'm riding light, which makes me very happy. Okay, let's get out of my boring house and go have some fun. Okie dokie. This is sometimes the toughest part of the ride, getting my bike out of my house. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Don't nick the walls. Do, 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 do. Right, one more steep one. We got this team, come on. <laughs> and let's go. Woo. That way. Oh, it's a beautiful day in Boulder, Colorado, my friends, my hometown, the place where I was born, the place that I love with all of my heart. And I'm excited to be going on an adventure right out of my front door. Now I am officially on the route here on the Boulder Creek path. I've been riding this path since I was a little kid. This is the main artery that runs through Boulder and it is a gem. Ole, 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 ole. <laughs> Okay, now it's time for some steep stuff. I'm on Chapman Drive, which goes up the backside of Flagstaff. Whew. I did say there's 10,000 feet of climbing, and this whole first day will be mostly climbing. And I bet you all thought I forgot about my little safety mantra. Nope, here we go. 
No crashies, no flatties, no whammies. Whew, I've been saying that since my very first adventure when I rode my bike home from Honduras and it's kept me safe. And more than anything, this dorky little mantra puts a smile on my face. So I've just popped out onto the pavement of Flagstaff Mountain. It's a steep one. And I used to ride this all the time in college. I lived near the base of this. The university isn't far. So it's bringing back some fun memories. Let's go check out this overlook right here. Looks like a good spot to chill. Yeah. Most of what I'm looking at here is Rocky Mountain National Park and Indian Peaks Wilderness. And I'm pretty psyched, pretty grateful this is right in my backyard. These are some world-class views. I am now at Walker Ranch, right there. I'm excited to go mountain biking, and here's a fun fact. This is the trail that I essentially learned how to mountain bike on. I used to come up here all the time with my friend Brett back in high school, and this was our trail, and it feels good to be back. And you know what I just found? I found an old cliff bar in my hydration pack from uh, the Colorado Trail last year, so I'm gonna eat this. <laughs> And whatever goes down must go up. It's pretty steep, but, but uh, that's okay. Okay, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on through here. Come on, yeah. There you go. Smash through that tree. Goodbye, Walker Ranch. That was awesome. Brought back so many good memories of my old Trek 8000 hardtail with RockShock Mag 21s. Technology's come a long way. Okay. 
Here we go, heading up, up, up. With all this uphill riding, I've been sweating quite a bit. And the air up here is a lot cooler. I'm at about 8,000 feet and I'm chilly when the wind blows, which is actually kind of a nice feeling because it was a very hot summer. And these are some of the first cooler days here in Colorado. So we're all appreciating it. Oh yeah, Mexican Cafe, that's what I'm talking about. Oh my, do you see those frijoles, those hot frijoles? You all know that I can't go on an adventure and not have beans. In this Wonder View Mexican Cafe right on the side of the road, just hook this up in about five minutes and I'm so excited. I'm Dusty, but tell them my name is Dirt. Dirt, all right. Yes. And you just love playing the guitar? Yes. Well, I play guitar because I learned how to sing in high school from one of the very best vocal teachers ever lived. Right on. And I got my first guitar after basic training. Good for you. And you just walk around playing for people? Yes, I do. Well, that's beautiful. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Ryan. It's wonderful to meet you. It's wonderful. It's to good meet to meet you. humans like you. you know? Amen, brother. You know? We all got to pull together. We do, don't, don't we? we? Yes. Yeah. Got to share the love, got to share the kindness. All of it. And the music. Yeah, and God knows. Uh, I've fallen on my knees a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, meeting people like you, I'm gifted, and I thank God. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you, my friend. You made my day. Thank you very much. Absolutely, man. man. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Goodbye, my brother. Keep spreading the love and the music. Amen. Amen. <laughs> oh, man. That made my day. What a sweet man. He was just walking up the road playing his guitar, and he stopped and started playing it. And me being the curious guy I am, I started talking to him. And, you know, I offered him some money. I used to, I like to pay buskers. And he's like, nope. I used to do that, but now I just play my guitar because I love it, and I love sharing the music with people. How cool is that? I got a beautiful song and a burrito and I'm moving further west. All right, goodbye Highway 72. Hello County Road 97. Class of 97, that's when I graduated from high school by the way. I like that number, and I also like dirt. Oh yeah. quiet, beautiful road. I've never been here before in my whole life, even though it's not that far from home. And I am loving it. It's nice just to hear the sound of my tires crunching gravel, the wind blowing through the aspen leaves. It's good. I needed this. I needed to get out of the house. Nature always has a way of just resetting everything.
I am rolling now into the town of Nederland. It's a cool little mountain town, but I'm just gonna pass on through, get some more miles and find a good place to camp. So here's a quick fun story about Nederland. Every March, they have a festival called Frozen Dead Guy Days. And the reason why is because there is a frozen dead guy up here in a tough shed. There was once this Norwegian dude that wanted to be cryogenically frozen so that he could someday be brought back to life. So his grandson did just that when he died. He cryogenically froze him and he's somewhere in Nederland in a tough shed in this goofy town celebrates that guy with a festival every March. <laughs> it's nuts. The day of endless up is still going up. My legs are getting tired for sure. I've already gone up more than 6,000 feet in elevation, but I still I feel good. There's no doubt about it. And I'm on this awesome road right now where there's no cars, no people, probably just lions, tigers, and bears. I love mountain humor. People in the mountains are always just a little kooky this house has Maasai security. <laughs> sure they do, of course they do. And also, you know, every mountain house has to have prayer flags, of course, and a fence made out of old skis and a kayak too. I sure love those yellow aspens. Now those are the yellowest of the yellow trees I've seen. Oh yeah. Good job, aspens. Looking beautiful. Damn. Look, more awesome yellow trees. Oh yeah, more yellow trees. <laughs> Yeah. This is so beautiful! <laughs> and I feel like I have the whole world to myself out here. It's not summer, so there's not a whole lot of people and it's midweek, all mine. Hey, looky there, a campsite. Perfect timing, I'll take it. This is perfect. Sun is going down or is down and it's getting cold, so why not stop for the day? You did a great job today, bike. You can rest right there. And that's where my tent's gonna go. I haven't used my tent since Ragbri and it smells a little bit like corn. Just kidding. Does corn have a smell? I don't think it really does. But it does bring back good memories of riding bikes across Iowa with Amelia. Okay, tent, build yourself. You know, it's really hard to blow these things up after a long day of riding. <laughs> There's no doubt. <sighs> Takes forever. <sighs> Whoo, 
Ooh, getting lightheaded. <laughs> oh, God, I did it. And I have a new Thermarest quilt. This one goes down to 20 degrees Fahrenheit, which is going to be necessary tonight because it's going to get chilly. And here's a tip. I put the clothes that I'm going to wear tomorrow in the bottom of my sleeping bag so it stays warm overnight. And that prevents me from putting on freezing cold clothes in the morning. I'm still pretty full from my big old burrito, but I am gonna eat one of these. My favorite energy bar, the Pro Meal Bars. No, I'm not sponsored, I just love them. They have a lot of real food in there. Looks like tree bark, but it's pretty good. I'm warm, I'm cozy, I'm happy. <laughs> and those are the ingredients to a good night's sleep after a long day. And I'm really happy that I chose to do this. It was kind of a last minute decision. I was sitting at home getting a little antsy. I needed to get outside and I just put this all together and away I went. And I'm really happy that I did. And I've said this a million times, but whenever I get outside and do something like this, whether it's big or small, you know, I have so much time to think about how lucky I am and how grateful I am for this life and my friends and family and Amelia and my mom and Dana and Xantha and I just, uh, you know, I have all day to think and that's the, the best part about riding a bike is you just get to think all day long. <sighs> so I feel recharged and rejuvenated and I still have a whole day of this left tomorrow so it should be fun. I think a lot more dirt and uh, yeah, here we go. Here's to another beautiful day on planet Earth. Buenas noches! Buenos dias, amigos. So, it got a little cold last night. <laughs> <laughs> real cold like freezing cold but uh, luckily I had some warm stuff and I woke up to lots of frosty bike parts <laughs> but that's all right the Sun should be coming up right son let's hurry <laughs> My poor GoPro got frosted last night. I had it out to film a time lapse and yeah, it's a GoPro sickle. Oh man, packing up gear in the freezing cold is no fun and I would have a lot more shots of everything but every time I try to film with my Sony camera it dies it doesn't like the cold either thank you dry piece of flat ground for keeping me warm check it out you can see the the frost line on the outside of my tent Woo! Woo! there's the Sun that's what I'm talking about I can't tell you how happy I am. Happy, my lips are frozen. How happy I am to have a little sun on my face. Woo, here we go. Today is Thursday, everybody. Happy Thursday. No crashies, no flatties, no whammies, no freezies. A little technical here. Yeah, it's gonna be a good day. Definitely don't want to get wet in this cold. Whoa, this guy had a bad day. Man, look at that. That's a bummer. 
Jeez. Man, look at that. I wonder how you get something like this out. Wow. Whew. There's a moose over there. Hello, Mr. Moose. You playing hide and seek with me? Eating some breakfast. Some frozen cornflakes. Oh, yeah. Whew. Right, I've stripped off all my warm clothing. The world is warming up. I got off that road and now I'm on the sourdough trail, which will be single track. And hopefully a lot of fun. Here we go. And sometimes you just gotta walk it through the rock garden. Yeah, a little technical in here. Yeah. Man, this trail is relentless. The ups are really hard because there's so many rocks and it's technical, and the downs are hard because there's so many rocks and it's technical. <laughs> Whew, this is one of those trails that really helps you practice your, your bike handling skills. <sighs> but I'm the only one out here, and that chipmunk that's making noise over there, hey buddy, <sighs> it's pretty dreamy to be riding this all alone. And to think I was freezing cold and my toes and fingers were numb just two hours ago. Not anymore. Man, this is nuts. Oh <laughs> Didn't crash, but I did just slam into a rock and all the air is out. 
Ah, bummer. There's the culprit. That is definitely too big to throw a plug into. Good thing I brought an extra tube. Oh yeah, that's a big hole. Check this out. I have been carrying around this tube since Baja Divide in like 2017. And I've never used it because I've never needed it until today. It's tiny, it's a Tubolito brand, so they fold up really small and I guess they're pretty strong and I hope it's still good. It's been with me on my bike on every adventure, just waiting for the moment that it needs to shine. <laughs> This is funny looking. It looks like I'm about to build some sort of a balloon animal. It doesn't really get circular like a normal tube. Pump, 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 pump. <laughs> That's always a workout with a hand pump, but I think I got it. A lot of people wonder if it's a pain in the butt to put a tire on with the belt drive, and it's not. <laughs> you just do like a regular wheel, get the, the belt on there, and in the front, boom. Okay, bike, what do you say we keep going on this wonderful adventure? Oh, that's heavy. Boom. I got a flatty. Darn it. <laughs> that's all right. My track record with flatties is pretty, pretty impressive. It's not often I get flat tires. Oh. Man, that trail whooped my butt. You know, I'd read that it was pretty technical, but it's definitely very technical. It reminds me of some of the traumatic trails on the Colorado Trail last year. <sighs> All right, now I go that way, towards home. food always makes me feel so much better. Thank you, Ward. The view up here is great. Now I'm on the Switzerland Trail. Oh yeah! Woohoo! I love you, Colorado! I'm taking a moment here just to chill out one last time, enjoy the quiet, the solitude, the nature, the aspen leaves, before I head back into Boulder and the hustle and bustle of life. And I'm just really overwhelmed with joy and gratitude for this little 24 hour adventure. Sounds like there's a motorcycle near me. <laughs> anyway, it's not as quiet as I thought. But uh, I'm really glad I got out here and did this. It was really fun and good for my soul, good to move my body. And it's, it's been hard. This is a hard ride. There's no doubt. This is tough. And uh, I love that this is my backyard. I can do this anytime I want. And that's pretty special. I am 
almost home and it is a beautiful evening here in Boulder. And you know, it's funny, I was just thinking to myself, I was only away from my house for like 30 hours. But in that time, it makes me really appreciate where I live. I've been riding around these streets like, wow, this is a really beautiful town. These are beautiful little mountains. <laughs> oh, I love it. Anyway, thanks for watching my video. I really appreciate it. Please share and like and subscribe and maybe even join my Patreon, whatever. Anything helps. The most important thing is for you to get off your couch and get out there. Go have some fun. Cheers.